I'm on the Somerset coast and this spectacular landscape all around me is Exmoor, home to a very special breed of sheep. The Exmoor horn is one of Britain's oldest native breeds. Characterised by these distinctive horns on both the rams and the ewes, the Exmoor horn grazes year-round on heather moorland and it's this diet of rough vegetation and hardy lifestyle that creates a strong, springy and versatile wool that's perfect for making the most wonderful beds you can imagine. This is the wool from those Exmoor horns. It's been cleaned and transported just over the border into Devon to the Vicebring factory. Vicebring has been making beds since 1901. Starting out in London, the factory moved to Plymouth on the beautiful southwest coast 50 years ago. Craftsmen today use the same techniques employed over a century ago, filling and stitching every mattress by hand. Sourced from across the UK, from the windswept Shetland Isles to the Devon and Somerset countryside, pure British fleece wool has been a key ingredient in Vicebring beds since they were first made. The company has long supported producers of wool using a staggering 400 tonnes each year across the entire range. That's more than any other bed maker globally. Every Vicebring mattress is made to a different recipe to achieve a different feel. Now this one over here, it's making me want to go to sleep. This is the new limited edition Lana and this is the mattress that is being made with that absolutely sumptuous Exmoor horn sheet wool. It's mixed in with cotton and a soft material called tensile which is made from sustainably grown trees. So using materials like this wool does that mean that these mattresses last a long time? I mean, British wool is, is renowned for its uh, worldwide luxury, really, in terms of its comfort and the resilience of the fibre, yeah. the comfort that it gives in terms of the loft. We would have a, a longer longevity of the mattress because you know, there's less loss of loft. It's second to none. And why is it so important to you and to Vicebring to work directly with farmers? Many years ago we worked with our supply chain in terms of our wool providers and then I was introduced to the, the campaign for wool which was introduced by the Royal Highness Prince of Wales in 2010. What that then gave me was more awareness about not just the fibre and its benefits and the uses that it can have in terms of the product but also the difficulties that's faced by the farmers in terms of the economic conditions. Mm -hmm. How can we work with that farmer to understand and how to support them and that's what we're trying to do at Vicebring. Farmer and Exmoor horn breeder Dick Tucker knows firsthand the struggles that producers face. His family has been farming here at Lucott Farm on Exmoor for over 70 years and he's one of only 120 registered breeders of the native Exmoor horn. Dick, I have to confess that I don't know anything about Exmoor horn sheep. Tell me what is so special about them. On our farm, they are uniquely suited and adapted to here. They're, they're tough. In the summer, we have our own little microclimate here where we can have very little rain. We're in a high rainfall area as well in the winter. We do get a lot of snow, again, that the sheep will survive in a snowstorm. Like farmers across the country, you have been struggling with a very low wool prices. Yeah, so again, the last two years, definitely we've lost money on that. It's co it has cost us more money to shear the sheep um, than what we are actually selling the product for. Um, in recent years, obviously, with the pandemic that's going on, there has just been no demand. Our wool is sold at auction, so if there is no demand for it, the farmer receives you know, no money. You know, we're living in a world where there's more and more um, focus has been, you know, put on sustainability. Mm -hmm. You know, wool is the most sustainable product that there is. It's, it is a tremendous, a tremendous product and it's just so underutilised. But I understand that the property of this wool has caught the eye of Vicebring. For us to be able to sell, you know, a tremendous quality product to a company like Vicebring, you know, it means the absolute world to us. And how is collaboration with Vicebring going to be different? What they are willing to do, which is uh, tremendous for us, the wool producer, is that they are actually paying us uh, a premium um, on top of the price per kilo 
So they are directly helping family farms like us here, farms that have been here for generations, um, using a breed that has shaped the landscape of Exmoor and continues to. This is the sort of story I love. A British company making a high quality product with locally produced materials and directly rewarding the people who do all the hard work to produce them, the farmers. And the result are wonderful mattresses that last years and years and years. That is sustainability at its best. Something that will allow all of us to sleep really well at night.